Hello, this is Art Toilet Gaming Room Reviews. I'm Arturo, and today I'll be reviewing. This is one of my childhood games, and one of my favorite Sonic games of all time. I mean, Sonic 2, a lot of people think, a lot of people say Sonic 2 was, like, more famous, because they actually added new things to the genre, and it was better than the first. Then the third one comes around. I will just go ahead and just review this and give my personal opinion about the third Sonic game. Let's go. Dr. Eggman is at it again. And so, Sonic and Tails must stop him and save the animals. And along the way, they meet a new character, Knuckles. Though through your journey, Knuckles will just be a jerk to you and keeps knocking you off. He was such a jerk in this game until they made him a bit eh in the future games, like really dumb. But this is when he was actually pretty cool. The soundtrack in this game is just outstanding. Not to mention that Michael Jackson composed the music for this game. You can even hear his voice in the first boss music. Like the last two Sonic games, it's the same but also improved. The graphics are more nice. And I just think Sonic is just way more detailed in this game. Oh, and this time the special level, besides the one that you, you usually go to in the first and second, this one, is, I actually really like the special level in this game because you go around, you collect these blue balls until you get the Chaos Emerald. Just make sure not to hit the red ones, otherwise you you lose. And just like the second game, a pal can hop on and join in, though obviously he can't die. He can help you get to certain places while flying, but usually he... <laughs> The second player for the campaign mode can't really do much. Except maybe beat a boss for you since, you know, you could die. The gameplay is really the same, but really good and really improved. But what I feel like they improved in this game with its gameplay, for example, was you get cutscenes that I don't think we really got in the previous two Sonic games. I don't think. Correct me if I'm wrong about that, but... Yeah, you get cutscenes like with Knuckles and certain points, and not to mention certain levels that you go to, there are certain things you have to do, which the gameplay kind of changes. Like for example, at a point Sonic is going down a snow hill, while Tails has to fly him. Now this happened obviously in Sonic 2, but it obviously added a lot of more extra features. But, but sometimes it's, the gameplay is a little tricky because they actually make you try to figure out what you need to do on certain points and maps. And it's kind of hard to figure out until you mess around. No issues with the controls nor the camera. It's basically the same like the last two. Though the menu does offer different slots where you can select either Sonic or Tails. And you can play through the game solo or have Tails join you. This as well has multiplayer. You can play as Sonic, Knuckles, and Tails with different modes like Grand Prix, Match Race, and Time Attack. Though the track can be a bit confusing like the second one, it's not as bad as the second one, but you know, sometimes you don't know what you're doing. Though the second one, I felt like it was a little too confusing, but I don't know. Obviously, this game is just as challenging as the last two. Obviously, old games are challenging. This one is just as challenging. As for replay value, you can go back and play it solo with just Sonic. Or with Tails. And like I mentioned, you could have a pal join in, help you out, or you could just do versus mode. Sonic the Hedgehog 3 was one of my favorite childhood games of all time, along with Sonic and Knuckles. The th I mean, a lot of people just think Sonic 2 was more famous because it improved a lot more than from the first one, but I, to me, I think the third one is my favorite of all time, along with Sonic and Knuckles, because it, it just, it actually even achieved more. 
And the music was actually, I think, in my opinion, better than the second game's music. And, I mean, I just remember playing it the first time, I was like, wow, this is actually pretty cool. Though some levels I do, like, especially the one where you're underneath the sewer level, that one was a bit hard and really aggravating. But some level designs are actually really cool. I like the Marble Garden one. The first level was my favorite. It... I just like this game. It's really, it's really something that you should definitely, pl definitely play if you're a Sonic fan. I like Sonic, and number three is like one of my favorites of all time. So obviously, I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. It is excelente. Improved so much from the first and second one. And the music is just awesome because hey, it's Michael Jackson that composed some of it, right? I mean, it, it, it's cool. Yeah, and not to mention you get a new character, which, well, you don't play as him except for the multiplayer mode. For my recommendations, obviously there's Sonic and Knuckles, and then there's Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles, which I think you could play Knuckles on Sonic 3, but that, you know, that was for the old console that you could do that. But you can do it if you unlock the game from um, Sonic Legacy Collection, I think. Something like that. Now, if you want another Sonic game that's classic, there's Sonic Mania. Yes, Sonic Mania. Oh yeah, and fun fact, Sonic 3 was actually supposed to be Sonic 3 and Knuckles. However, since the release date was just ahead, they couldn't really, like... I don't know what went wrong, but they had to split the game. So we had Sonic and Knuckles and Sonic 3, and if you put both together from the old um, system, you get Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles. Which, the soundtrack and stuff changes on um, boss levels from the third game, but you could also play as Knuckles, I think, in certain levels. I, I don't know. I never really played that as much. As of this review. Well, this is Artwellia Gaming Room Reviews signing off.